All right, what's going on, everybody? This is going to be the unboxing for the no scope gaming glasses that I posted on Twitter. These are the actual uh, box that it comes in. Now, for you guys who want to know what it looks like, I'm going to give you an idea. This is a PS4 controller, and this is roughly the size of the box. So as you can see, it's not actually that big. But however, it is big enough that it may not fit in a traditional mailbox. So uh, yeah, um, the shipping, it came USPS. It was ordered and about three to four days later I received it and that was just regular shipping, nothing special. So that actually was pretty fast. Um, the shipping is pretty good. You guys, if you know my channel, you know me, you know that I hate things that take a long time to ship. So I can actually say this was pretty good. So with that being said, that means the shipping is good because y'all know I hate that. So let's get into what's in the box. I already slit the plastic open so it wouldn't be too crazy because I'm holding the camera with the other hand as you can see. Okay, so... This is uh, some information for me from No Scope. I won't show that on camera. That's my address. Um, there's another paper. I won't show that because it has my address, but I'm pretty sure that's the information if you need to return it. And uh, let's keep looking to the box and see what that is. Uh, people are crazy, so you know I won't be showing my personal information in the video. Okay? So, um, yeah. So here we go. You have the glasses. They come in a hard, see-through plastic shell. Um, as you can see the glasses are in the inside right there and from what it looks like on the bottom is that's the uh, cloth for you to carry it in the soft cloth if you need to travel and a cleaning cloth is behind there as I can see as well so we're gonna open these right now and uh, take it a little further let's see what's in here now right away um I noticed this lid kind of like is friendly to open it so I guess I should just turn it around and do the same thing here Yep, it pops right open once you tugs on it. Part of my hand right there, guys. I'm doing this with one hand. I guess it could just slide out. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they slid right out. You have the uh, no scope card right there. Put that right there. And then you have the, uh, another no scope card. Computer and gaming glasses. That's all their contacts, as y'all can see. And then you have the glasses right here. So this is what they look like. They have the cool no scope logo sticker on them for you to check them out. And then they have the back. Now, what I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna wanna know about these are the quality. Okay, so let's get into the quality real quick. These glasses actually have a professional feel. They feel like glasses you would actually buy from the eye store. They're not that plastic feel that uh, a lot of gamer glasses have. A lot of them have plastic um, rubber pieces. This is actually feeling like metal. This frame is metal. The, uh, the arms are metal. You see, as you can see, all of this is metal. Right here is metal. This is metal. The quality is pretty good. Of course, it has a yellow tint. That yellow tint is to reflect the blue harsh lights that come from the uh, monitors. So um, we're going to get into a review now of these glasses. So I'll cut back with the uh, review because I have to try these out and everything. And we'll get into that. Okay, guys. So this was the unboxing for the NoScope Gaming Glasses. Okay, now before I get into the review... I also want to go into what else was inside of the case. You have your no scope cleaning cloth. It comes in a plastic so that you can keep it clean. Of course, you really need these for these type of glasses. If you use something like tissue, you'll smudge them and, you know, blur them up and they'll get a, a, a start. They'll start they'll just look bad when you put them on. They'll affect what you're looking at. And of course, this is the carry case that it comes with. This is feeling like a plasticky type of feel. It's a good quality. It has the logo on it right here. So you know what's in there. You can carry it around to your friends. You know. Oh wow. Okay. So this has a metal clothes pouch. Look. It pulls close. I'm a, you know. Like. Look at that. Nice. So you don't have to worry about them falling out. I remember being a kid and that happening. So okay. So that's everything you have inside of there. You have your card. You know. To represent no scope. Right here. Then you have your card for no scope contacts. And you have the glasses right here. And you have the carrying case that they come in and your cleaning cloth. So that's everything that was inside of the package. And this was only $30 for these glasses. These are the professional gaming glasses. So I'm going to do a review on these. Like I said, I'm going to try them out now. And I'll get back to you guys with the review. Okay, so that was the unboxing portion of the review. Now we're going to get into actual purchasing the glasses off the site. Of course, you go to noscopeglasses.com. You can use the referral link in the description to get a discount, of course. But you can do that or not. But either way, this is what happens when you buy the glasses. You go to noscopeglasses.com. Of course, you're on the homepage. You just click shop right here. 
when you click this button, you'll see another page with a bunch of glasses. I also look for how to display all of them on one page because if you're simple like me, that's what you're going to do. So, of course, you have the different types of glasses. Okay, so you have the Wraith computer slash gaming glasses. You have them in white and, of course, black. So it's frost white, onyx black. And this is going to be the variation of colors for all the glasses which they have. But right now, I think they have three or four glasses. So let's look through the list and see. And I'll show you which ones I actually got. Okay, then you have the Minotaurs, of course, the same thing, white and black. You have the Golem, same thing, white and black. Now, what I noticed right away is it's all about style. These are more of a skateboarder type style. This is for those guys that, you know, don't want the, uh, they don't want anything on the bottom. These have that kind of um, hunter glasses feel if you go to like a shooting range. Now, these, these are more of like the hipster type of glasses. These are more casual. You probably could wear these like outside. You know, just chilling or whatever, because I'm going to get into why people may wear these outside because there's actually a use for that as well. Hold on one second. So let's go down. Then you have the Golem. Now, these are just the outright, straight up professional, enthusiast looking gaming glasses to me. These are the more I'm um, seriously gaming right now glasses. You see how they have the uh, yellow on the um, side like this. Now, I'm going to get into this yellow tint because that's actually very important. Something I noticed that um, a lot of people didn't say, or at least I didn't see in any of the videos that I saw. Um, then you have the ones that I have right here, which are the Gemini professional gaming glasses. Of course, I'm going to get those because, you know, me, I'm a distinguished gentleman, so I must have professional glasses, of course. So you have these. So you have one, two, three, four. So you have four variations currently on the website, and then you have bundles. Now, what this bundle is, this is the Havoc bundle. It comes with uh, three of the four variations of glasses, and this one costs you $74.99. And then you have another one down here called the throwdown bundle now right away what i noticed is the throwdown bundle comes with two of the uh more professional type of glasses and one of the professional oh uh, well i should say the more enthusiast type of glasses in the professional glass so this is like the hardcore bundle and this is for somebody who wants to just try them all out and more than likely what i'm thinking is you're going to get this bundle because you know how you have glasses and you know your girlfriend or your girl if you're a girl gaming, your boyfriend may want to uh, wear them or borrow them, or just a friend or a family member may think these are regular glasses and wear them. Like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna get into why that may happen in a second because that actually may be happening to some of you guys. Now, let's break down the warranty real fast. Okay, if you get the glasses, you notice they come with a warranty. Now, the reason I recommend you do get this warranty, especially if you get the bundle, I'm gonna get into that one in a second. But let's talk about the initial uh warranty. You get a hard carrying case. Now, if you look at the unboxing, you do get a carrying case, but it's not a hard one. A hard one can be used for other glasses as well, so it comes in handy just to have it. But if you think about it, if you pay $15, you're paying $15 for the hard case, and you get a one-year extended warranty for $14. So if the glasses break, you know, you just send them back and get another pair. Now, it's an interesting thing. Or you can look at it like you're paying for the glasses, half price and then you get a free carrying case so either way if you look at the value you get the one-year warranty and the carrying case just for this one price so that's actually not a bad thing now let's get into the bundle and while that's actually a great warranty for 24 dollars, which is the pair of one glasses you have all three glasses plus you get uh the carrying case you get three carrying cases and the uh warranty for all three glasses that's a pretty good deal if you ask me so um I would definitely get this if I decided to get a bundle, and I'm sure a few of you actually may need this bundle, and if you look at the price of this bundle, you have the competitor's glasses, who actually cost probably the price of just this one thing here, and the quality is pretty good on the glasses from what I can tell you from what I've seen. So I'll get into the review, and I'll break down why, you know, these glasses are actually good to have if you're a gamer. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys, and let's switch over to the review portion of this, and for the review... I just want you guys to know I played Star Wars Battlefront on PC in 4K and I played it for about five hours and I'm going to tell you exactly what the review is, you know, what the breakdown is and what I thought. Okay, so what you're watching right now is me playing Star Wars Battlefront 3 on PC at 4K settings. Now, right away, what I want to say is um, with these glasses on, a lot of people wonder about the yellow tint, so let's talk about the yellow tint first, and then we'll get into what the glasses can and can't do, and, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Of course, you know, I'll tell you what is and what isn't, and, you know, try to tell you things that I have not seen anybody else tell you. Of course, somebody probably did. It's not like I sat and watched a bunch of videos, so let's get straight into it. Okay, right away, with the yellow tint, when you put the glasses on, you don't have to worry about things actually looking yellow. Now, I know, I know that, uh, 
a while back i remember somebody had these glasses and they looked weird and when i put them on it felt like i was like putting on like some kind of helmet and i was looking through like some colored plastic bag so it's like once you put it on everything turned another color instead of looking a different way or should i say instead of it looking blue it looked yellow so when you put these glasses on instead of it looking like that what it is is it actually looks normal now, some people have been telling me that certain glasses that other companies have, they still actually do that. But what I can say about at least the professional gaming glasses is that they don't. When you put them on, everything looks normal. It doesn't look yellow. It doesn't look uh, any other shade. It just looks normal. It doesn't look like it's um yellow or blue or any of that stuff. Now, however, once you get used to wearing these glasses, this is like one of the things I've noticed. When you take them off, everything looks blue now. You, you notice the blue light that they tell you about that's harsh to your eyes you notice it a lot more without the glasses so i noticed that your eyes can actually become dependent on these glasses so just be warned that you will notice the difference once you get used to these and you take them off now however that's not actually as bad as i think it is or it sounds because when you actually put the glasses on and take them off you actually see how harmful it was to play these games for long hours without them now as far as the insomnia thing I can understand how it prevents people from having insomnia because your eyes are a lot more relaxed. When I was playing this game, I noticed that my eyes were not working as hard to see things because you know how when you're up on a big screen, because I'm playing on a 50 inch, if you're up on a big screen, you're battling all the brightness of the actual display when you're playing the game. You don't have to worry about all that. It actually acts as a tent and it acts as a pair of shades as well where it blocks all of that light from actually just getting at you and just, you know, you're fighting to see, you're fighting through the brightness. If you're like me, I like to play with the lights off when I'm gaming. So this actually helps. Now, moving right along, um, I noticed that some other competitors offer prescriptions, so let's get that out of the way now. At the current moment, no scope has informed me that they don't actually um, provide you with a uh, prescription lens if you have it for your glasses. But however, if you get the professional gaming glasses, or you know certain models i'm pretty sure you can actually take them and get them fitted so that's actually not a big deal instead of um getting it from them you just get it from the uh, eye doctor that's all so with that being said uh the quality of the glasses are pretty good like i said they're they're metal they're not plastic they're not uh missing pieces i noticed with some of the glasses they're they're like just you know a, a, it's like a bare central on how the frames are built so the professional gaming glasses actually have a metal frame going all around it the part that sits on your nose the bridge of your nose that actually is a, a decent quality it feels good it doesn't feel like it's pinching you or anything like that um the current glasses that they have are one size fits most that's the uh way that they actually describe them if you want the dimensions of the glasses to see if they'll fit you can actually go to the website and go to the uh the no scope tech button and it's like the third button from the left after the shop button and when you click on that you'll see there's a tech section where they'll actually show you at the very bottom the uh, size of the glasses so with that being said um i have to actually recommend these glasses if you never use gaming glasses you really should probably try these for the simple fact that it actually improves the quality of the gaming now i'm not saying that it's going to make you go from 10 kills to 10 hundred kills or it's from 10 kills to 20 kills but however you you will feel more relaxed playing the game and for somebody like me that's cool coming from work put these glasses on i'm chilling you know what i'm saying that's exactly the feel of the glasses so i actually recommend that you do try these if you haven't i'm i was absolutely surprised at how much more comfortable my gaming experience was i was playing star wars normally uh lately if i game on a session i'm gonna go like one to two hours and then that's definitely like my limit and then i have to go do things I just turn it off for a little while and come back after 30 minutes and I'll play like another hour or two. That's how I game at the age I am. But with these glasses, I was actually able to sit through for four to five hours and I didn't even notice it. If you look at this gameplay right now, I sat there for so many hours. It was because I was so relaxed. My eyes were not straining. And I didn't even realize my eyes were straining until I got these glasses. So I can't really say anything else except, yes, there, there's no reason not to get them. The price is very reasonable. For the quality versus any other glasses this is a great great set of glasses and plus it's an entry level price point so that's one of the reasons i try to do these reviews is i try to tell you guys what's what if you got the money then you could just you know buy various types but 
if you're somebody like me who's a conscious person who likes to not just splurge and be you know ridiculous this is very very reasonable and i actually was surprised at how well the glasses work i actually thought they were kind of more of a gimmick because this is my first time actually getting a pair of glasses for myself instead of just trying them somewhere when i'm out and about and i see them oh yeah let me try those and then i'm like ah, yeah you know so they really improved these and i can't say i can't see a reason for you not to get them actually so with that being said I'm going to cut this short because uh, this is quite a long video and I just want, you know, you know, if you have any questions, just of course, ask me in the comment section. I will answer those. However, though, I just want you to know that um, you can also get them from the uh, description. You know, of course, you can use my uh, my link to get them on a discount. But however, before I leave, I do want to make it clear I was not paid or anything like that to do the review because people tend to think when you advocate for something and you think it's good, it's an agenda there. There's no agenda. I get nothing for this. All I'm telling you guys is an honest review and opinion of the glasses. And for the price, you can't beat it because you can get the same quality glasses for double and triple the price. So I'm trying to tell you guys, if you're into saving money and you want a game and you definitely like the stream, you definitely should have a pair of these. And I'm telling you, if you get them, let me know in the comment section what you think, because I can honestly say that I feel a lot more comfortable gaming for longer hours and I just see a difference. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is my honest review of the no scope gaming glasses, the professional ones, the Gemini glasses, and I'm out of here later.